Hi, readers. I want to tell you a few things that readers do. Did you know that when readers read a book, they read a book from cover to the end cover? And you've been doing so much reading already. I bet you're going to be able to help me. So again, when readers read books, they read the cover first, the cover first, and then they read the first page all the way to the end. That's what readers do. And I bet you already knew that. So I'm going to show you how that goes in this book. Hmm. So sometimes when you look at a cover, you can also figure out what a book is about. So when I'm looking at this cover, I am seeing a lot of bugs. How many of you are seeing bugs? Let's see. I see a ladybug. Oh, I see some really creepy bugs. I'm not even sure what some of these are. I see some beetles. I bet that you probably know what some of these books are, some of these bugs are better than Miss Seltzer does. But I see a lot of bugs. So you're looking at this and thinking, huh, Miss Seltzer has a book with a lot of bugs on the cover. And you might be wondering what these words say. Well, right here, I bet you can already read this word. T-H-E. Say it with me. The. The. Then, do you think it says the bug book? You're close if you think it says the bug book. Because the cover has a bunch of bugs, that would make sense. That would be a good prediction. So, I'm going to tell you, it's called the Beetle Alphabet Book. The Beetle Alphabet Book. Hmm. So, do you think that's a good title for this book? It's a lot of bugs. I wonder, I wonder if each page is going to show a different book. Okay. So, it's actually the Beetle Alphabet Book. Huh. Let's see. I want to make sure when I look at this book that the title makes sense. Let's see what this says. So I'm starting with this first page and now it makes sense. It's called an alphabet book, not just a bug book. Because first I thought, well, there's so many bugs on the cover. It must be a bug book, but it is now it makes sense. It says celebrate. There is nothing on earth as diverse, diverse, that's a big word. Diverse means different as beetles. We start this alphabet book with the heaviest beetle around. And we know it's an alphabet book because there's the uppercase A and the lowercase A. And it says A is for African Goliath beetle. This beetle is almost as large as your hand. Ew, that sounds gross to Miss Seltzer. In Africa, children often tie strings to these beetles and play with them as pets. This is a pretty cool book. I've had it and haven't read it. And I'm glad that I wanted to investigate it and I wanted you to investigate it with me. So, what do you think is going to be on the next page? Hmm. Let's see. If you said B, uppercase B and lowercase B, you're right. Because remember, readers read a book from cover to cover. Because you want to make sure that you're not missing anything. So I'm going to read a couple more pages and then we'll skip to the back. B. B is for Bombardier Beetle. This beetle, ooh, sprays poison gas to protect itself, but not enough to harm a person. Tiny bugs, teeny frogs, and little lizards should watch out. Huh. 
Okay, let's do the C page because it's right here. C is for cucumber beetle. Farmers do not like this cute beetle. Do you think it's a cute beetle? Maybe. Cute colors. Cute polka dots. They don't like this beetle. So listen, it's called a cucumber beetle. I think I'm already making a prediction. So readers also make predictions. I like to stop and ask myself questions. So are you asking yourself, hmm, why is it called a cucumber beetle? I know I'm asking myself that. It might be because of the colors. Hmm, that's a good answer. Do you have another thought? Okay, well, if you're thinking something else, let's check and see if you're right. Farmers do not like this cute beetle because it eats young cucumber plants. That makes sense. Its cousin, listen to this, it has a cousin called the potato beetle. What do you think the potato beetle eats? the asparagus beetle, and the carrot beetle. I am really learning a lot. I've never heard of any of those beetles except for the potato beetle. Those beetles are also pests to farmers, which means the farmers don't like them because they eat their plants. So if I keep turning the pages, what do you think I'm gonna find? I'm just gonna skip, keep going. So we've already figured out this is a book about beetles and every page has a letter of the alphabet and a beetle that starts with that letter, a type of beetle. So I wouldn't wanna skip pages because there's a, so much to learn in here, which is why readers read from cover to cover. And it's also good to look at the cover to figure out what a book's gonna be about. Not always right, I wasn't right, I thought it was just a bug book. So, let's go to the last page. Hmm. How do we know that this is the last page? How do you think we're gonna know that this is the last page? Well, we've already discovered it's a beetle book, but it's an alphabet book. So of course, it's going to end with the letter Z, Z. So I'm gonna read this page. Hmm. Welcome to the land of metallic beetles. So if you were reading this book, I know you would know a bunch of the words. T-O-2, T-H-E, the, of metallic beetles. Beetles. And we've seen the word beetles on so many pages that by now, I bet you can find the word beetles. Did someone forget some jewelry? On this page, there is a zinc metallic beetle, a platinum metallic beetle, a gold metallic beetle, a silver metallic beetle, and a bronze metallic beetle. Z is for the zinc metallic beetle. And the word metallic comes from the word metal. Well, I'm really glad that I read this book through the letter Z. I'm really glad. So that is why readers read from cover to cover or beginning of, beginning of a book to the end of the book. You don't want to miss anything, but you want to find out how the book ends. Thank you, readers. Remember, when you're reading a book or even looking at the pictures, you want to make sure you read from beginning to end.